What up YouTube, Tiger here. Today we're gonna talk about the first time I was ever in a typhoon. And I'm not talking about like, you know, not, not in a typhoon inside your house, looking out the window as things blow by and stuff like that and enjoying a cup of cocoa with my friends and whatever. I'm talking about like, my wife just came home from work. I usually go out every night for a jog or a walk to get some sort of exercise. I said, I'm going out, took my umbrella, I said, I'll be back. And she's like, be back soon, because there's a typhoon. I was like, all right, cool. Anyways, went out, it was dark, rainy, windy. I expected that, I'd never been to typhoon before, ever, been to earthquakes before, never typhoon. I'm from an area in America where there's no typhoons, over in Seattle. There's rain and wind, so of course I didn't think much about it. Anyways, as, a, as I went, I was, that particular night, I was thinking about fear. I don't know why, because like, everyone has fear, but everyone's fear is kind of different, you know? Like, some people have a fear of failure, but my fear, I feel like it was slightly different. My, my fear is the fear of success, because like, after you become successful, it's like, then what? You know what I mean? Because you, you, you find meaning in the idea of trying to become successful, but after you actually become successful, successful <laughs> then what then it's like your meeting's gone also it's also like to maintain that success or to even top or beat that success is a very difficult thing so it's kind of scary so my fear was the fear of success not the fear of failure or trying necessarily so i i'm i'm very good at trying to do something but like i i haven't been successful yet and I feel like it was because of my fear in the first place. Anyways, as I was walking through the night it got rainier and windier and it actually started becoming very scary. Like like it was a light rain before, and maybe there's puddles here and there, but like after about I would say 30 minutes, like the water was literally up to my kneecaps. You know, so I'm like, holy crap, and I'm going over a bridge and like you know, the little streams are now little rivers. You know, my umbrella, I'm using it like a Captain America shield trying to fight my way home, right? This is a really sturdy umbrella, okay? So I'm holding it and just trying to fight the wind just to, just to make it home. The umbrella snaps in two, like in the metal part. And this is like a very solid, very expensive umbrella. It snaps and flies off, it hits a tree, it's gone. All I got is like the, the little hook part, so I'm just like, I don't need that, of course, right? So, yeah, then now I'm just, like, walking to the wind, and it's blowing me, like, I can, like, lean, like a Michael Jackson video, like, ho! Oh! You know that, that lean, that famous lean he does? I could have done it. Like, it was blowing that hard. I felt like it was, like, a really extreme Michael Jackson video. <laughs> but, no, it was really scary, though, like, because it's, like, dark like midnight dark, middle of the countryside, they don't have that many lights out there. Like in the city side, it's bright. I can look out the window right now, it's beautiful. It's lit up. The whole city lit up in lights and stuff like that. In the countryside, it's pitch black. You might have, if you're lucky, one light. We had like, I think two lights in, it, in our neighborhood. One light was put in by us. So like we literally like called uh, the, the electric company and we said, look, put a telephone pole next to our house and I think it cost us about five thousand dollars or some crazy number but yeah so we had a light pole next to our house and someone else had one other than that it was pitch black so and all I had is my phone I'm sitting there using my phone to see where I'm going in the rain and yeah I, I make it back I mean it, it was scary <laughs> yeah I'm not saying this is the scariest time in my life I mean, I've had scarier moments, believe me, but th this is one of those moments you'll never forget. But during the, that time of like trying to make it home, back to my baby, back to my family, I did drop my fear of trying because I was no longer going to try to get home. I was definitely going to get home no matter what. So yeah, that kind of helped me overcome some parts of my fear. So anyways... If you have any fear ever uh, and this video help, helped you at all, let me know. If not, if you have any fears, you're going to let me know. Or if, you, if you've 
overcome the fear in any sort of fashion. Also, you can put comments below to help other people. Because everyone has fear. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of disappointing someone. Um, I feel like sometimes we even have fears we don't even know, you know? So, they call them irrational fears. Anyways, peace until next video.